Chris Zuckermans. How are you today? Today I thought that I'll come on this morning. I know, yes, I just had a shower and I'm putting on my fresh makeup. So if I'm looking away from you, I am apologizing now. I am so sorry because I am trying to put on my makeup as well as talking. So the thing that I wanted to talk about today is that how do how do we put us in that situation through through it all as a stepmom? How do we put us in a situation with the birth mum? Well, the easy thing that I find out is I let my husband deal with most of it and I also get myself I also after when they've had the conversation then I come out with the kids with the step kids and have a chat like that because it just makes it a bit more easier for me to do um, but yeah as well I also I try to encourage the birth mother like oh you know, like in case, oh, they're doing good at school. Um, whatever you're doing at home must be, you must be doing a pretty good job. Now, when the BM, that's to make the BM feel happy. And also makes me a mature woman to go, oh, okay. So she is being nice and she is doing a good job with the kids and she is being nice to me so yeah so that's how I do it plus I know sometimes there will be conflict who else has conflict I know I do I have heaps of conflict but the way that we deal with conflict is I'm sorry about this, I need to just try and find something. Oh, yeah, how I deal with conflict is, I just walk away. Don't go and start a fight with BM. That is the worst thing that you can ever do. Because it can, it can make you go to court or have a DVO on yourself or yeah so you don't want to be that type of person that does conflict you know um, I know I know yes yes it is hard and yes we are dealing with people sometimes who treat us with no respect for their children but as well, I am also a teacher's, I am also studying to become a teacher's aide. So, it kind of makes me have a bit more understanding of how these mothers deal with everything. I mean, trust me, at first, had no idea how to treat uh, another mum with how she could treat me that bad but then we wouldn't be this close right now we wouldn't be talking about her like that she's gone really really good and that she is good she is really nice so yeah so this i know that it's hard but you do have to put Sometimes, sometimes your other half and the birth mother, like, they do have to talk. And even though that you, you don't get the whole story because you're only getting half of the story sometimes. So you don't really know what. The birth mother is saying sometimes, but you also 
be you're also there to support your other half so it is a bit hard to understand what's happening and what you got to do but yeah um just think of it as being is an is a woman is and and don't think about the positive versus things because that's when that's when it all um breaks breaks down you gotta think of it as good like the children um uh, yeah the children are um talking to you the children love you and all that um yeah don't think that that they are there for that you can take advantage it the children aren't there to take advantage of so so just think that through don't make the children be choose between the parents either because if you make them choose how will break loose you will see arguing you will see fighting you will see millions of things bad happen and you don't want that so to one step mom to another step mom you're doing a good job keep going bye for now